What's going on YouTube world? How you doing out there? Sorry I got the shades on today because the lights out there is hurting my eyes and without them lights you will not be able to see me believe me. It gets dark in here. <laughs> but anyway, I'm coming at you with famous people that had it all and lost it. And this video is so interesting to me because I'm like, how can you have it all and lose it? Give me a little bit, and I bet I will put it under my mattress, um, stash it in a refrigerator, put it under my hamster um, cage. I'm not going to lose it. So let's figure out how in the hell did they have it all and lose it. How in the I want to see this. How in the hell would you have it all and you lose it all? It's not possible. Seems like every time you turn on TMZ, you see a new story about a formerly famous and worship celebrity who lives in rehab or is begging in a mall parking lot. Once upon a time, these movie stars and athletes were actually worshipped by the world until they slowly faded out of the limelight. Some of them finally let their drug addictions get the better of them, and others just seem to lose the public's interest. Join us as we take a look at some famous hell? people who lost absolutely Can everything. Have it all and lose it all. I gotta see this. <laughs> I gotta see Dustin Diamond. Dustin Diamond. Remember oh, the lovable geek oh, named yeah, from, Screech um, Powers? Yeah. Who was obsessed with Lisa Turtle? Well, after Saved by the Bell wrapped up, Screech's life would take a turn for the worst. Sure, there was the college years, and then there was that crappy spin-off where they returned. But after that, Dustin Diamond found it nearly impossible to find more acting work. He was wow. able to find work in very small roles in large movies like American Pie, but soon even those places stopped giving him the call. Ending up typecast and absolutely depressed, Dustin Diamond's life began to spiral out of control. He began drinking heavily, despite not having the money to support his habit. He began working on reality television, like Celebrity Wait, Fit Club. This. That was if you if you're on a TV show for more than two or three years, how you do how you go broke? That's at least two or three million dollars. God Lee. Until he began trying to fight other members of the show. And what would oh. you think would be his lowest point? Well, as it turns out, Diamond directed and released his very own pornographic sex tape. Oh, then he went on to release a book that was highly critical of his Saved by the Bell days, along with his former friends and castmates. In the book, many of the stories painted the show, its actors, and the producers in very unflattering ways. The public would soon grow tired of his antics, and he once again faded into the background. A few years down the road, fans began reporting that Dustin Diamond was in such financial ruin, he actually started selling t-shirts that read, I paid $15 to help Screech save his house. The last Screech sighting came in 2014 in a small town in Wisconsin. Apparently, Diamond would be arrested for the possession of a switchblade just a day after Christmas. It's alleged that Dustin Diamond had stabbed a man in a bar fight just a few oh, days shit. before, and he went on to serve three months in prison. Mike Tyson. The story mm. of Mike Tyson's rise and fall was highly publicized throughout the 90s and early 2000s. The undisputed heavyweight champion of the world never exactly lived an easy life, and the money that came along with his fame didn't really seem to help either. Tyson was raised in Brooklyn, New York, around numerous high-crime neighborhoods. His iconic high-pitched voice and his speech impediment made him a target for local bullies during his youth. But by the time that he was 13, he had been arrested an astounding 38 times for Damn. getting into fights. According to Tyson himself, the first time that he fought someone was because they pulled the head off of one of his pigeons. It became clear that Tyson might not have a traditional future. And that's when he began taking up boxing. By the age of 15, he had become the junior Olympic champion. And he was also managing to stay out of jail. By the time that he turned 18, he was already an international sporting icon. Tyson would go on to become the youngest boxer to ever win a heavyweight title at the age of 20. And was a millionaire wow. 
at the age that most people are still in college. At the height of his career, he would be getting paid nearly $30 million per fight, the highest of any boxer at the time. People close to Tyson reported that he was spending nearly $30 million a fight? $30 million a fight? $400,000 a month on things like houses, cars, and drugs, and alcohol. Despite this lavish lifestyle, he did continue to win his fights and got a face tattoo while he was at it. But like all good things, his millionaire lifestyle had to come to an end. In August of 2003, Tyson filed for bankruptcy. He had fired everyone working for him just to pay his bills, and his lack of fiscal responsibility was digging him into a very deep, dark hole. One year, he reportedly made $65 million, but had already spent $63 million of it by December. His body was also beginning to fail him, and the once great boxer was now simply using his celebrity status to get into matches with a high payday, even though there was a chance that he would lose. Tyson was still able to maintain an impressive 50-6 and six record when he retired in 2005, but was still in an incredible amount of debt. His drug and alcohol addiction would continue after his retirement, and then he would be arrested for driving under the influence in 2006. Dang. Fortunately enough, though, this would be the turning point for the former heavyweight champion of the world. He began to take up acting roles in television and movies, including the widely popular movie The Hangover. Currently, Tyson is the star of a television show on Adult Swim called the Mike Tyson Mysteries, mm. and has also starred in numerous documentary films. That While he's no longer in money. debt, his $3 million net worth is just pennies compared to the $300 million earnings over his entire career. Oh, and he's also made attempts at making music and becoming a stand-up comedian. Robert Downey Jr. No. Here's a slightly more Jr. uplifting story about an actor who had it all, lost it all, and then got it all back. This is the story of Robert Downey Jr. Now, before Robert Downey Jr. was the highest paid actor in Hollywood for his role as Iron Man, he was the name that you might say when trying to reference a drug addict. Downey's first introduction into the oh. dark side of the movie industry came at the age of eight. His father, Robert Downey Sr., was a successful movie director, as well as an enthusiastic oh, consumer. Oh, that's not fair. I didn't know that. His, oh my, he had it all. His dad was a, a director in Hollywood. Uh, he, got, he got him started on the dark side of, I guess. Uh, Man, how much more hookup can you want in Hollywood? <laughs> Devil's Lettuce. Downey Sr. decided that it might be a good idea to give his eight-year-old son a hit of marijuana so that he could have a taste. Eight-year-old Robert Downey Jr. said that he loved it, and by the time that he'd reached the fifth grade, was already known for being an avid smoker by his peers. By the age of 13, he had apparently already tried cocaine, and to our surprise, he had not yet even begun drinking. For some reason, that's where the superstar parent Downey Sr. drew the line for his young son, but it was inevitable. By the time he dropped out of high school, he was a certified alcoholic and a cocaine abuser. Damn. Jobless, without a degree, and always under the influence, Downey decided that he would pursue the lifestyle of a broke actor. Unfortunately, though, it turned out that Downey had an amazing talent when it came to acting. His life as a broke actor lasted a very short time. And by the age of 22, he would be running around with the Brat Pack and had hundreds of thousands of dollars to support his addiction. His meteoric rise to fame did nothing but fuel the rumors that surrounded his party boy lifestyle. And over the next decade, he would be seen hanging out with strippers, found high in nightclubs, and would often spend the night in one of the L.A. County Jail's drunk tanks. He was even once arrested for wandering around barefoot and high along a road in Culver City. Once again, while drunk and high, he would be arrested for breaking into his neighbor's Malibu home and then passing out on the couch. His lifestyle would escalate, and he would continue to take risks until a local judge finally had enough of his behavior. Downey was consistently arrested for possession of drugs, along with public intoxication, but rarely served hard time. However, in 1996, four years after his famous Oscar nomination, he was stopped for speeding down Sunset Boulevard and soon arrested for the possession of heroin, cocaine, 
and uh, 357. Oh he went on to serve God. a three-year sentence in the California State Prison, where he often got into fights. Once he was released, it would seem that he was cleaning up his act. Sadly, however, he had once again fallen off the wagon. This would be the final straw. Downey was once again facing jail time if he wasn't able to turn his life around. He pled no contest to his most recent charges in order to avoid jail, and agreed to go to rehab. Downey had finally hit rock bottom, but no one really wanted to take the risk of hiring him despite his talent. After a few years of rehab and laying low, Downey decided to make an attempt at a comeback, booking a role in the movie The Singing Detective, but he was completely broke and couldn't pay the insurance bond. Fortunately enough Man. for him, Mel Gibson offered to pay the fee, which was the boost that he needed to restart his career. From there, he would be able to book movies like Gothica and Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which were ultimately the roles that would lead him to gaining the part of Tony Stark in the Iron Man franchise. And the rest is history. As of today, the Marvel movies have become one of the highest grossing franchises in cinematic history, and wow. Downey has famously taken a cut of that money. In fact, it's estimated that in 2014, he made nearly $50 million from one single film. Dang. In the span of 10 years, he went from a broke drug addict to one of the most sought-after actors in Hollywood. Nicholas Cage. Wow. Now, you wouldn't think that our most underappreciated national treasure, Mr. Nicholas Cage, but would you have think ever about been... It though. If, I still don't think if his dad who wasn't... I mean, if his dad wasn't who he was, I don't think he would have made it out. True. You know? I really don't think he would have made it out. I think... You mean yeah. that up, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that had... Because... Even though he was so down, people would still give him chances on oh, big yeah. roles. Okay. Even somebody that's clean and got talent don't get you don't get offers to get big roles like that. You know what I mean? Big roles like that, no matter how good, good your audition but is, he they go his way to it some kind of way with the help of Mel Gibson. Yeah. He lucked out. Man. He lucked. Yeah, he lucked out. Mel Gibson. And yeah, Mel Gibson I paid his way. The word lucked out, or, or it was meant to be. Yes, probably meant yes. Financial straits, but he too has fallen on hard times during his career. Yeah. In 2009, he was one of the highest paid actors in Hollywood, and reportedly you know, earning I over... I don't know if you're like what's known as worldwide, like these people are basically worldwide doing media, TV, and stuff. Right, right. So I, want, I think your heart is fucking like open more, and, and so people get to that feeling and they help you out. Right, right, yeah, that's it's true. kind of like an unspoken prayer. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably it. I mean, I made that up. That sounded right to me. It's not pretty good. Wow. Yeah, I haven't seen this guy either, though. I wonder what happened to him. They they all fall off the what they call the million dollars yeah. in just that year alone. Cage decided to use that money in order to invest in real estate around the world and was literally buying islands in the Bahamas, houses in Malibu, Middletown, New Orleans, Somerset, and various other places in Nevada and California, along with a few select other properties. Cage owned well over $100 million in property, in fact, and at the height of his spending, he even bought 22 exotic cars in a single year. With the number of high-profile movies Cage was producing and starring in, it seemed yeah. that his spending was justified. However, he conveniently forgot that he needed to pay taxes on all of those millions that he had been earning over the years, and eventually, the Internal Revenue Service would come knocking, forcing him to sell many of his homes and his cars just to pay them back. Luckily, Man. old Nick never turns down a role, so he was able to maintain possession of a few of his properties. Yeah. Ever since the tax fiasco, it seems that Cage has controlled his spending habits and somehow increased his workload. Yeah. Since 2013, he's already been in over 16 movies, and yeah. in this year alone, he's planning six more. Wow. Cage's estimated net worth is around $20 million, despite earning nearly $150 million between the years of 1996 and 2011. This has been a look at just a few famous people who were once at the top of their game and then lost it all. Thanks for... No. That's what I want to know. Like, if I can find this thing. I want to know where, where the money comes from. You guys know that? Where does that money come from? Where does all the money and all the food come from, too? Yeah. 
Wow, that's amazing. God, me. All the restaurants, they serve all that food all the time. There's so much of it. And then the story, all that food, where did that come from? Oh, my God. And then I wonder, like, like um, when they make these big movies, like, um, where that money come from? If they spending 50 to 60 a million to make it, that, and then they got to pay these people what, eight and six and seven million dollars? Yeah, how does that happen? How do they do that? Cir- that circulation, all of them circulate. Golly. Wow, that's amazing. Hey, if you like this video, please leave a comment and um, some likes and tell me what you think, especially about um, how you can have so much money and just lose it like that. I definitely want to know that. Yeah, most of them came back up, though. Huh? That's the people. Yeah, yeah, most of them came up. The first, they the last two, Nicholas Cage and Jenny Depp. I mean, not Jenny Depp, but um, what was his name? Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah. Man. Wow. Well, they, they're I, really I'm showing us life experiences. Yeah. Enlarged. Yeah. They're going through what we go through, only it's in a larger scale, and, and it's really visible to all kinds of people. Yeah. Yeah, that has been. Yeah, and I think it has a lot to do with the, um, yeah, having the hookup, too. I think them guys have. Money talks. Yeah. yeah, money talks and having uh, some plugs in Hollywood. God, Lee. Yeah. One movie. One, one movie. movie can do that for you. One movie. All you need is one. A one big commercial. I had me set. I'm telling you, I get my hands on a little bit. I never go broke. Just a little bit. It wouldn't even, twenty. Like I said, twenty five thousand. I think I can use that forever. <laughs> I keep flipping and flipping and flipping that. All right, guys, give me some likes on this video. Go.